This was an opportunity to start to get the British taxpayers' money back after they put all that money in five years ago. And since I became Chancellor, I've been determined to try and do that. I thought last night the moment was there. Uh, the share price was right. The advice I received was that it was a good moment to go. And uh, we've had a successful sale and we've made a profit for the taxpayer and paid down national debt. Now, when you talk about getting taxpayers' money back, in terms of pure investment, we put in £21 billion pounds odd. Is that the sum that you'd like to get back? Well, crudely speaking, that's not a bad way of thinking about it. However, let me be clear, the taxpayer and the British people are going to be paying for the banking crisis for many years to come and will never get back all that we lost because of what went wrong in the British economy. But in a sort of straightforward way of thinking about it, the shares were bought for 73p. They've been sold for 75p in a sort of simple sense. We've got our money back and made a profit. And do you think there's a reasonable chance we'll continue to be able to get more than 73.7 pence back? Well, look, I'm always going to act on the basis of trying to get value for money for the taxpayer and in a way that I think supports the British economy. So you know, we will do this in a way that uh, supports those principles. And you know, we're not in a great rush. We'll do this in our own time, uh, as we demonstrated here. Lots of people thought we were going to sell a couple of months ago or a year ago. Actually, I think now's the right time. About a year ago, Lloyd's shares were half where they were now. Are you slightly surprised that you've been able to do this deal now? Well, I think, actually, the chief executive and the management and the staff of Lloyd's have done a great job. And there's a reason I wanted to come to Birmingham today, because I wanted to remind everyone that Lloyd's is not you know, just uh, some office in the city of London. It employs 100,000 of our fellow citizens in cities like Birmingham. Now. I think they've done a great job turning this bank around. Of course, there's still a long way to go to repair the British banking system. We want to see more competition out there. So we've got TSB, for example, now on our high street. Uh, but I think the process of repair is underway. All of the shares that you sold yesterday went to investment institutions. When will the public have an opportunity to buy the Lloyd shares that you own? Well, I'm clear that I would very much like the public to have a chance to buy Lloyd's shares. I think it was important that the first sale went very smoothly, could be done quickly. I'm afraid the only way to do that is to sell to institutions. Uh, but of course, the institutions include pension funds, which you know, people have investments in. The uh, retail offer will take longer, but it's something we're looking very carefully at, something we do want to do. If the practical problems can be overcome, we will do it. So a mass market privatization next spring? Well, we haven't got a timetable for that. My, the, my guiding principle will be let's do what's right for the taxpayer. It's their money after all. Let's do what's right for the British economy. Uh, and let's make sure we support an aspirational society where, yes, people potentially own shares in banks.